Welcome back to the AAA MF YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the last video of us racing at Bruntingthorpe in the rain. Fortunately today we've got better weather. Now the occasion today is a new car. I bought a Porsche Boxster Spider, especially for the summer. I've got two road trips coming up. As I've got a new car, I thought we'd bring on a special guest today. You may guess who it is from the beverage in front of me. Now, I gave her the keys to the car and um, I'm now waiting for her to turn up and um, it's been quite a long time, so... Um... We're still waiting. I'm starting to think that maybe this was a bad idea to give her the keys before we started filming. Oh, I can hear her now. A good choice in welcome, you cars. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. It's you haven't been on my time. channel. Yep, you haven't been on my channel before. What's I've been here? on your. I've been on your channel. You have been on mine. This is this is your choice. <laughs> what a good day. A what blush a day. rose. Perfect. Oh, you've been thirsty. Well, we've been waiting. Was that that long? Perfect. Wow. So we're going to do the review here, right? Because you've already driven it. Oh my god. <laughs> I strongly agree with your choice of new cars. Why don't we talk about the video of your um, on your channel with the Lamborghini? With your Lamborghini? 80,000 views? Devastated that you sold it. Devastated. I thought that was a perfect car for me. Yeah, the problem with the Lamborghini is it didn't really fit in my garage. No? No. So you sold You don't believe me. I don't believe you. What a terrible <laughs> excuse to get rid it of a car. It didn't really fit in the garage. Oh my goodness. Plus I took delivery of that car in end of September. Okay. And I was... I was hoping to get it at the beginning of the summer and use it for the summer mm -hmm. and I didn't really get the summer and I went away for the whole of December, January. So um, I sold it in December. Uh, Darren Gibson, shout out to him. Darren Gibson sold the car. And um, now that the summer's coming up, um, I'm doing two road trips. Mm -hmm. I needed a car to take on a road trip. Right. So the criteria was something that was going to be reliable. Topless. Something that was going to be <laughs> convertible mm -hmm. and something that was going to be fun. Right. And something I didn't need to worry about putting mileage on. So I couldn't really think of another car that was reliable, fun, roof down. Yeah. And these Great. sound incredible. Sounds amazing. Manual gearbox. I haven't driven manual for years. I did some of my best driving in my first car, which is a uh, Golf, Golf 1300 manual. Best. Golf 1300. <laughs> I learned how to drive in that car. Now you're driving an M2 competition. I know, look at me, how I've advanced mm. in life. And maybe an Alpha 4C next? Maybe. Maybe. You never know. So as you know, I've got two Porsches already, the mm. GT3 RS 4 litres. Yes, I have my and eye I, on that one. You've got your eye on that one. We'll do a review of that <laughs> yeah. soon. And I wanted to take the... I took the uh, 4 litre last year to Monaco mm -hmm. and I loved it. Okay. But what I really missed was having the roof down. Yeah, well you need a roof down. When you're going through the Swiss Alps and the French Alps, yeah. you really want to have your roof down. Mm. So I thought this was perfect. Also, there's a YouTuber called Cars with Luke. I don't know if you've seen his channel, but he took one of these around the Swiss Alps. Okay. And I watched that video. And after I watched that video, I said, I've got to have me one of those. It. I need it. I need one. I need it, give I it to me. I need one. I love the color. Sapphire blue. Sapphire blue. Very rare. Black wheels. It's good spec. <clears throat> good spec. Doesn't have the bucket seats. No. But, but these are 18-way adjustable comfort seats. They're very comfortable. And they're heated. They're very comfortable they're and very heated. warm. So, like so you like this? Sitting. I love it. You approve? Yeah, I definitely, definitely approve of this one. Should we take it for a spin? Yeah. Let's do it. So this is the 3.8 litre engine from the Carrera S. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty quick. <laughs> Yeah, agreed. What uh, what do you think compares to this car? You're just 
smiling, mate. <laughs> I just love the sound. What's right? the best car you've driven on the track? Did you take a Senna around the track? I didn't take a Senna. I took the 600 LT Spider on track right. and I fell in love. So you're in a similar position to me. You've driven lots and lots of cars. Yeah. And my conclusion from driving lots and lots of cars and, and being able to get into lots of special cars. Mm. You know, I've driven a Carrera GT. I've driven an Enzo yeah. E1. That's Pagani it. Wire. That's cool. Okay. But when you get to drive all of these cars, they're not all special on the road. No. You can't actually drive them all on the no. road. Right. And I think what makes a great road car is something that you can actually enjoy at Both. lower speeds at lower speeds and I think having the roof down gives you another sense of enjoyment you can't get because unless you're going really fast in ex for example a Ferrari 488 is not fun at low speed no it doesn't feel exciting at all at low speeds no. and I actually only really enjoyed the 488 when I took it to Bruntingthorpe we did some drag racing That's and fun. the whole car came alive on a track but it does come alive aren't they they but both on the for road, tracks on the road I not didn't so much. find it exciting at all you can't open up the engine when you have the roof down it really gives another level of enjoyment to yeah. the car but I also think something like this the box the spider is a really enjoyable road car winning circle good <laughs> everything I think so. and if you took this to track it would be good fun on track as well I reckon sometimes What's when, that? <laughs> sometimes when you use all the, you go all the way through the gears and you really rev the car up to the red line it does feel fast enough yeah I mean you really need to rev it all the way up to seven and a half thousand yeah handles well on the corners good fun in the corners this car yeah, that's because it's light. Yeah. Light cars handle well. Woo! You can't get around the fact that a heavy car is heavy into a corner. Yes. You know, it's still heavy. And you're going in. And you're, uh, you're, you're, you're trying to juggle around, you know, with, an, with say, a Lamborghini, you know, 1.5 yeah. tons into a corner. It's still 1.5 tons. Yeah. Well, this is light and nimble. Oh, yeah, when it gets past 6,000 revs, it really opens it up. It does have a then you feel spoiler it. on the back. I'd, li I'd like a bigger spoiler. Like a bigger that was spoiler. it. Like that the was Lamborghini. It. Like the Lamborghini spoiler. I had a big spoiler. <laughs> I loved it. I'm going to have to get another Lamborghini, right? Oh, I was heartbroken we'll when it was gone. We'll get another Lamborghini. Maybe yes. Next, maybe next year. Maybe the dream. Next year. The dream. But we're going to do a video with you in the 4 litre. 100%. That's got a nice big wing. That's got a big so wing. So you see my trademark where I lie on the back of it. Yes. Nice if we did a photo with you on the back of the spoiler. I'll, I'll jump on that wing, surf the wing. You won't jump on it. That's yeah, the thing. I'll, I'll, I'll step on it very lightly <laughs> and surf it like a Cape Tonian I am. Look at this. Woo! Yeah, so it really opens yes. up when you get above four or five thousand revs, doesn't it? Overtake. On okay. a blind corner, yeah. No, no. <laughs> no I'm no. very 
safe, safe driver. Very safe. <laughs> Very safe. Oh man, it is a whole lot of fun. I, I, I can't lie. It's that sound that just gets me. Gets me every time. So my, my question was trying to lead you to the fact that if you wanted to have a car over this that was a convertible, you're looking at spending at least double, oh, the, money, a lot double more money, the money. Oh, a lot more money. A lot more money. So 570S Spider is £150,000. Yeah. Madness. This is 75. Yeah. Second hand, 70 to 80,000. to get one of these well my hair's a mess that's a, that's a good sign of good fun I think these on long roads um, would be perfect yeah the stop starty clutch in and out in London with the traffic probably not the clutch is not light in this no it's a heavy, not heavy well it's all right it's, not light. Yeah. it's okay yeah yeah but it's not light no I mean you, your foot would start your ankle and your knee would start yeah to, Crap after think, an I hour think, yeah. in traffic. Yeah, I think if you got caught in traffic in this, you'd start regretting it. Yeah. But as a, a careful. Wow. Why is he driving on the other side of the road? Oh. Thank God I've got ninja reactions. You all right? <laughs> Small heart stack. If you play that back, my face was stealth. Your heart. <laughs> okay. I'm alive. He's alive. <laughs> so the final thing we're gonna do yep. is we're gonna show people how easy is it to put the roof up. Is this my payment for driving the car? Or not put the roof up. <laughs> or not put it up. I right. haven't actually done it before. Okay. I haven't done it. So we're gonna do that now. Okay. So. Why does it just stays like that? No, that looks terrible. Oh, it goes in here. Yes, it, must it goes come in out. there. It goes in there, but this is not coming out. Is it coming out on your side? Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is there a button? There must be a button. I told you, this is the first time I've done it. Oh. Okay, so now push that okay, down. Yeah. Push that down. We're in. Right now, get back in the car. Okay. And then you and then pull what? the boot close, the, the roof close. Here, here. That Where? one. Maybe the engine has to be Oh, on. right. Ignition, at least. Yeah. And now close it. Ah. Oh. So we've done the uh, box the spider. A kind of idiots review. <laughs> Maybe we should have read the manual before we did that a on presenter, camera. A presenter, not car reviewer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Correct, yes. So how are we going to summarise this car? It's a big thumbs up for me. Thumbs big up thumbs up. Miss Emma Walsh. Big thumbs up. I don't know if it would be good as a daily in London, a yep. daily, yep. just because of the manual. Great fun on the open roads though. This is better as a daily. Show yeah. them this car. Yeah. Yes. Good as a daily. Just a giant go-kart really. Giant fun punchy go-kart. So go how about perfect two-car garage? Alpha 4C, box the spider. Then you've got the dual clutch for during the day. And for the weekends, you've got a manual with the roof down. You're liking that, right? You're liking that. I don't know. You just want the keys to both? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, why not? Okay. Yeah. I think I'd choose a Porsche over the Alpha, I think, if I had a choice. Com more comfortable. More comfortable. Okay. Faster. All right. Well, that's the end. So the only thing left to do is the sign out. Well, thank you. I'll do your sign up for you. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment for all future videos to come. Subscribe to my channel as well, Miss Emma Walsh. See you guys all really, really soon.